CataractCoach.com, slow motion analysis to understand how and when the capsule ruptured. So I've seen this case before. I want to show you again in regular speed and then in slow motion what exactly happened. Here's the groove and right there, it goes right through the nucleus and hits the posterior capsule. And you see that dark spot there, that dark crescent. The resident surgeon is still unaware at this point. And so it's going to make an attempt to crack the nucleus. And again, we've already nailed the poster capsule. That dark spot there in the bottom distal portion of the groove is a complete puncture through the nucleus and into the capsule. And so when it's time to split the nucleus, you'll see the resident will then cause that puncture to become a huge tear. So there's partial split of the nucleus, but watch carefully right about now, you'll see a snap coming up right there. Pow! And it snaps. And that quick snap was the entire posterior capsule rupturing right down the middle. So what was the problem here? Well, the wrong path was used when sculpting the groove. Remember the lens nucleus is thicker in the center and thinner in the periphery, like an M&M candy. And so this resident made that groove too far distal and hit the posterior capsule and violated it. And that ended up being the issue. So again, I'll show you in real speed, and then we'll see it in slow motion. But there's the groove. Looks okay. And then right there, it goes too far. And there's the dark spot where the capsule's violet. So again, grooving here, showing it you at one-third speed, hitting the capsule right there. And you can see how the tissue gives. And then right afterwards, there's going to be a dark spot there. That dark shape, that dark crescent, is the violated capsule. And what should have we done? The, should, the correct way is to have a curve when you're sculpting the groove, deeper in the middle and shallower at the periphery. And by doing this, we avoid letting the probe go through the nucleus and avoid hitting the posterior capsule. Let's move on now to splitting of the nucleus. So here's when we go and split the nucleus. There's the first part of the split. That's okay. But when it's split again in the area where the puncture was, look what happens. There'll be a snap sign coming up right about here, and pow, it snaps. My capsule's violated. Done. The capsule's already completely ripped in half. So again, let's show you in slow motion. Here's the attempted split, and when it gives, boom, just like that. And that capsule's wide open, and you saw this case, which was presented recently, where we had to do an extra cap and put an anterior chamber lens in the eye. So difficult case. Important lesson to be learned, figuring out where and when the capsule gets violated. Thanks for watching.